the sneaky as well tonight. Tonight we've got Puppy Linux Weary 5. Now it's a special one really. It's meant for older hardware. And it's going to be continued for quite a long while. Now the reason they're doing this basically is because some of the new kernels you can't run on older machines and so it gets a bit silly. So basically we're going back to a slightly older kernel and this one's going to be supported for quite a while. So as you can see it's just a basic puppy setup. So I'm going to open a few programs for you, see how it works. By the way, internet is configured straight away if you use internet when you're booting it up. So you're just known by that connecting business anymore. Obviously, if you're using wireless, you're going to have to get some bits and bobs, aren't you? I think some are supported, but I don't know what ones are not, because I don't use wireless personally. Not for me, anyway. So we're going to open up the browser, which is SeaMonkey. Now, people are moaning about SeaMonkey, but it does the job. So we'll see what version it is. Up. That's quite quick. It's 2.0.11, so that's all right. I can live with that. Can you live with that? Of course you can. And it's easy peasy. It still comes up with the tabs on the wrong side and stuff like that, but I, I can put up with that anyway. Now, I've installed this, by the way. I'll let you know. Now, as you can see, when I go down the menu, it's all basic puppy stuff. Everything is there. It all works so far. I've had nothing go not work on me. So you've got genome, every word for your stuff like that. You've got bcrypt as usual, and you've got your address book. You can set up your firewall, which I've already done. It's a one-click jobby, no problem. You've got a pup advert blocker there as well. Files, eh? That got a few people talking, didn't it? And for fun, we've got some new games as well. So that's quite interesting. Oh so yeah. And bearing in mind, it's about 128 meg download. So it's really tiny. Boots from the live CZ, CD, so you don't have to install it if you don't want to. So this is the Puppy Package Manager. As you, some of you may know it, some of you may not. And there's quite a bit in here, and this is going to be keep being updated all the time, apparently. Which is nice, isn't it? So we've got quite a bit in there. Not as much as some of the other pups, but remember, this is a brand new one, really. For older machines. So if you've got an old Pentium 3, Pentium 2, even older than that, even, it might be the one for you, really. But obviously, if you've got a newer machine, you can run Lucid if you want to, etc, etc. No one's saying, of course you do. It's a really short video anyway. Alright, what else can I show you? Okay, so I've got to the top here, up to the desktop. As you can see, there's nothing changed much there really. So that's yeah, it's good for the user. So if you've got an old machine lying around and you want to do something, check it on. Does the business. It installed on this machine in around about two and a half minutes, but bearing in mind it is not an old, old machine. So if you've got an old machine, it's going to take longer. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Well done, Barry and the boys. So I'm going to go to the help section here, just to show you a couple of things. Not too long at all, this one. As you can see, announcement and release for Weary Puppy at 5.0. As you can see the timeline, I've showed you this sometimes before. Now, Weary is the latest one, because uh, Puppy 5.2 is not in release yet. It's only in beta. So this is the newest one. And that tells you all about Weary. And the driver, sorry, the kernel it's using is 2.6.31.14 and uses XORG 7.3. So if you've got other machines, it will work. And they're just going to update it all the time for quite a while. So that'd be good for some of you who just want to keep them old machines running. Now, I really like it because I've just found an old machine in my cupboard, really old. It'll work on its fine. It's like a Athlon 750 or something like that, really old one. Anyway, I like it. Sneaky Linux out.